All right. This quick one. Guys, men who take care of themselves make better impressions on everybody. Pro tip, when you're dealing with, excuse me, when you're dealing with high quality women, women with some style or some class, they look at how you take care of yourself. This is why it's, when I talk about men burning candles around your house, place smelling good, people look at how we take care of ourselves and infer and say, if he takes care of himself that good, if I get on his team or if he likes me, that's how he's gonna take care of me. That's how it works. I had to light this one out. That's how it is at work. That's how it is in life. This is why if you actually take care of yourself, treat yourself well, it's one of the best investments you'll ever make because instead of thinking about that's wasting money, no, 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 no. What you're doing is you're pre-filtering the kind of people and the kind of experiences that you want the world to bring you. I know this sounds like some hokey pokey metaphysical hoo-ha. It's like, yeah, man, that, that's a bunch of, you know, the secret. And I'm telling you, that's not what it is, man. It's been, it's been scientifically proven and shown, man, men who wear clothes that are pressed get better results than men who wear clothes that are not pressed or wrinkled. Men whose shoes that are shiny get better results than men whose shoes aren't shined or dusty. Men whose fingernails are nicely clipped and manicured get better results than guys whose hands are not or dirty. You know damn well, you the same way, man. You ever sit in somebody's car that just got it nice and detailed? I mean, nice and detailed. It's, it's, it just smells, it seems like the air condition is colder when your car is uh, freshly washed, right? It seems like everything is, I hate it, it seems like everything is better. So think about you jumping your boy's car and it's freshly detailed. You ain't trying to eat in the front seat. You ain't trying to drink nothing in the front seat. You sitting up a little bit more straight because you respect that. you like, man, this brother just spent some money in here. I'm gonna take care of it. Okay, let me hit, the, hit you where, where it really hurts. Go into a bathroom in a restaurant. That's how you go into the, a five-star restaurant. It's one of the best restaurants in the city. You go in the bathroom and the, and, and the bathroom looks like a, a nightclub. Hits all on the urinal, it's got that urine smell coming out of it. Your automatic perception of the restaurant's gonna go Poof. But if you have a, just an average looking restaurant and you go into the bathroom and it's clean, I mean, it smells like your mama cleaned it. Ain't nothing in there. Toilet paper, the toilet roll, I mean, it just looks immaculate. You know, the the little, the, the shitter wraps are sitting on the wall, the toilet paper's right. You, you go to the urinal, you, how many times you'd have gone to the urinal and, and drip something on the toilet or the, or the floor and you got a napkin or something, wipe that shit up yourself because the bathroom was that clean. Tell me you ain't done that. It's human nature, it's how we are. When we see something that's well taken care of, that can normally go either way, we treat it better. You know you do. You know you do. That bathroom thing, you know for sure it happens that way. Guys, stop treating yourself like a nightclub bathroom. Start treating yourself like you're a high-end bathroom. That's That was pretty good. <laughs> That's as good as you can get. Stop treating yourself like a nightclub bathroom. Start treating yourself like a high-end bathroom and you'll see the difference in your life. Come back and tell me your godfather's wrong. Peace.